Alan Whateley. Madam Deputy Speaker, I feel keenly the importance of everybody, every child, having a chance to succeed, and I feel that never more than when I visit schools in my constituency or when dropping my own children off at school. When you see bright faces in the playground or lined up with cross legs in assembly, full of hope and potential. And the question today is how we best nurture that potential and enable every child to make the most of their talents. From preschool through primary school, secondary school to further education, every stage is an opportunity. But indeed, at every stage, there is a risk that some children may do less well relatively. But fear of difference in results must not drive policy, as I fear it does for some of those opposite. There is a clear consensus in this House about the importance of preschool education and early years education, the importance of primary school, and progress is being made on those areas, particularly the improvement of standards in primary schools. But I would like to emphasise today there is more to be done, particularly so that children arrive at reception um, already with good language schools, particularly in their first language, which is not at the moment always the case. But today we are talking primarily about selection, and opposition MPs have been attacking academic selection. Oddly, they have attacked academic selection, but not any other forms of selection. They haven't really counted the points about why they're so happy about selection for sport or art. Um, and also, they're not making it clear where they stand on existing grammar schools. So they appear to have a pretty confused policy. Now, I stand here representing a constituency in Kent where we have excellent grammar schools. And those grammar schools are extremely popular with parents. So I would urge the members opposite to listen to parents who like those schools and understand why. I will say, in the time I have, there has been a significant misinformation put out there about the achievement in the education system in Kent. Children in Kent achieve above national average in their GCSEs. The system does well, and we know that particularly within that system, children on low incomes, children with free school meals or in seat of pupil premium, are doing especially well in our grammar schools that enable those children to make up the gap between themselves and other children with greater advantages. I will happily give way to my little friend. Can she inform the House of what portion or generally what um, amount, number of amount of children who go to grammar schools go on to university or Russell Group universities? Uh, we, we know that, that children are much more likely to go into Russell Group universities if they've attended grammar schools. But I will say also in Kent that we're seeing an increasing number of children who have received pupil premium um, attending grammar schools. So Kent is working at widening access. So I really welcome the points in the government's green paper to widen access so more children have a chance to attend excellent grammar schools. One of the critical things here is whether primary school head teachers support their pupils in getting into grammar schools. School, primary schools that do, that makes a huge difference. Primary schools that don't, that is a real disadvantage to those children. So I'd like to see more schools emulating our best primary schools, where the children are supported to go to the best school for themselves. Also, we have grammar schools which favour in their admissions criteria children on low incomes and are doing outreach to primary schools so that they make sure children who have the right academic potential to do well in grammar schools get a place and can make the most of the, that potential. Finally, on the experience in Kent, I'd like to emphasise where we see um, selective and non-selective schools working so well together if they're part of a trust. An excellent example of that is the Valley Invicta Trust. I'd encourage the Secretary of State to come and visit that, and she could visit a comprehensive school, South Shadow Secretary of State, a comprehensive school and a grammar school in one go and see what excellent results both of those schools are getting for their pupils. And before I conclude, I should mention the importance underlying all of this of high quality teaching. That is something that academies and grammar schools are doing so well, is making sure their teachers provide excellent teaching so all the children who go to those schools can truly succeed. Seema Malhotra. Uh, 